Hey everybody, welcome to Choose to Change, a show that inspires through the power of lyrics. You can read along as the songs are playing at heyugly.org. Choose to change through the power of music with Betty Hefner. Cool songs for the show today. Shannon recommended um, songs for us to play. And I don't know if you guys know it or not, but Hey Ugly just launched the Stop Bullying program where we worked with 17 amazing sixth grade students to delve into bullying and to figure out how to stop it in their school. And Rick, you were there. You filmed some of the kids doing this. What did you think of it? It was really powerful. And and it was, you know what was interesting to me, Betty? What? Is... When, when the sixth graders were in like the second grade class. Now for me, it was like little kids, right? Mm-hmm. And they said, how many of you kids have been bullied? Everybody's hand went up. Uh-huh. And I thought, these are second grade kids. Yeah. Do you guys have bullying in your school? Yes, a lot of it. A lot of it? Yeah. Wow. Do you have any programs to stop it over there? Um, not not that I can think of. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, should have, we should have like about five because there's a lot. There's a lot. I've, I've heard that about the school. Hi, this is Dan Evans, and that's my new single, Going All Out. Hey, be sure to tune in every week to Choose to Change right here on WRHC 106.7 FM. How hard was it being an overweight teen? Did you get bullied all the time? You know, I think one of the hardest things was, I mean, I didn't get bullied because I think they are probably afraid I'd push him back because I was such a big guy. But for me, it was, it was more what was difficult was how much I felt held back from having all the fun and adventures I wanted to as, as a teenager, you know? Even like going to the beach, we're on a family vacation, I don't know anybody there, and I'm suntanning with my shirt on. And it's, right. it's just, there's those things in your life, it's, I mean, I, I don't feel like my life was ruined, I just felt like, you know, there's things I missed out on, and it held me back from just being free to have fun and live my life, and you know what you should be when you're, you know, going through your teenage years and going through high school. And, you know, so, I want to say that, you know, I I don't regret anything in my life. I don't have any regrets, and I take everything as a learning and a stepping stone, but I also wish I learned the things I did now about losing weight a lot earlier. Hey, everybody, listen to Choose to Change, your radio show that plays songs with positive lyrics. We're on every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so tune in. On 106.7 FM, WRHC. If there's something that you don't like that's going on in, in your life, just change it. So you can look at it and you can go, I choose to change, which yeah. is the theme of this show. Yeah. Looking at different things about ourselves and making that conscious choice to change, to make us who it is we want to be, and so that we can be ourselves, which leads us into our next song by Audio Slave called Be Yourself. <laughs> Be wow. yourself. Hey, Betty, I got to tell you something. What? From Barbara Streisand to Audio Slave. Do you love you it? You are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you I love mean, it? Well, the radio station, can you listen to it go from Streisand to Audio Slave? Here's the question Do you think that all the images in the media that show people looking perfect makes it difficult for us to have good self esteem? Huh. What do you think, Rick? You know, with technology today, you have this ability to raise the bar in terms of the image and the look. And then also with this huge media machine, celebrities and stars have machine that can actually just really send out to the world bigger than who they are. Right, and they've got the best makeup artists. Yeah. They've got the you know the personal trainers. They've got the best hairstylists. And the celebrities are the first ones to tell you that. They, they say, the please, do, please do not judge me on what you see in the magazines because that's not who I am. That's just who I'm portraying myself to be. Lob us. We're the Lithuanian Sea Scouts, and we love listening to Choose to Change every Wednesday at 6.30 on WRHC-FM. Make a change for once in my life. What would you guys do? What would you advise people to do to be able to help them heal the world we live in? Well, to, to heal the world, it would be... For me, it's just small, random acts of kindness, you know, like, yeah, uh, picking up a piece of garbage where you see it, but also just smiling to strangers. Like when you're walking down the street, I always notice 
like when I'm just walking down the street and I see someone coming in and I smile at them and then they smile back I just feel so much better about myself and so much better about uh, other people knowing that you know they are happy they do care and you know it's good to see other people smiling and, and enjoying themselves also the things that my friends told me about myself that that really got me defensive immediately were the things that ended up being the true stuff that I really wanted to change about myself to become who it is that I want to be. Hmm. What do you guys think about that? Um, what do you think, Chris? It's funny that you know you need. It, it really does take an outside perspective sometimes to set things straight. I, I admire a lot of my friends that have come to me. You know, a lot of people do come to me and they'll you know try to put me down or something, but it's in a negative way. But when it's in a positive way, you know, I, I won't get offended. Right. You know. You won't shut down. I right. won't shut down. Because a lot of people do that. I mean, we, we're all human. I right. will choose to change. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I will do. Was AM 1300. Radio Disney. Good morning, Chicago. Broadcasting from Radio Disney Studios at 401 North Michigan Avenue. It's in tune with Radio Disney AM 1300. We're here to talk about stuff that's important to Radio Disney families. I'm DJ Adam, and I'm here with the president of Hey Ugly, Betty Hefner. Yay! Hey, Adam, thanks Thank for the applause, man. Oh, no problem, no problem. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. It, it's a pleasure to have you here. Basically, we're talking to the listeners and telling them what's important to them. For more info on Hey Ugly, log on to www.heyugly.org or call. 219-778-2011. Hey, man. Thanks for the plug. I nope, appreciate no it. No <laughs> problem. Thank you so much for coming out. So what is Hey Ugly? Ugly is an acronym that stands for Unique, Gifted, Lovable You. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we help the kids get in touch with their individuality and help them to recognize that they're unique, recognize their gifts, and recognize, most importantly, that they're lovable. And the whole thing started by um, a friend of mine named Sporty King. He grew up in Harlem, New York. He was raised by a single mom. I think he had like six or seven siblings. And he never felt good.